My name is Corinne. I'm a yin and prenatal teacher. I'm going to talk a bit about yin yoga today because it's a practice that has helped me and continues to help me throughout life's challenges and therefore is very dear to my heart. So yin yoga is a bit different from uh, regular styles of yogas because it involves less movement and it's more of a still practice. We held poses up to four, five minutes and sometimes longer. And while we are in these poses, we really go within. We start to explore our inner world by deep listening and feeling. The mindset of a yin yoga practice is one of surrendering. Instead of trying to push ourselves into a perfect pose with great strength and effort, what we try to do is waiting for our body to open up and to let us go deeper. It's really a looking within, it's an observing of what's arising for us in our body. Sensations, emotions, thoughts. And we welcome everything that arises for us without making judgment, without trying to fix it, without trying to get away from it. system is slowing down and our body is nurtured on a physical, a mental, a spiritual and an energetic level. I like to refer to yin yoga as the practice that helps to cultivate the state of being instead of doing. Bad ankles, bad knees, bad backs. Therefore, while it is important to work the muscles and our cardiovascular system through other type of exercise or a more yang style of yoga, it is equally important to keep our connective tissue, our fascia and joints healthy. So the physical benefit of a yin practice is to keep maximum range of motion and flexibility in our joints as we age. Energetically, there is also a lot happening. I find it difficult to explain through words uh, the sweet, delicious feeling that a yin practice can provide. Let's go and look at some of these poses now. This pose is called the butterfly pose. And in this pose we are targeting the outer hip, the inner groins, and some people might also feel it in the lower back. And as you can see, every practitioner in here looks different, which is totally fine. Because yin yoga is about functionality. It's about getting into the fascia in the area where you want to feel it. It's not about how you look and it's not about aesthetics. This pose here is called the shoelace pose and we want to get into our glutes. It's a deep opening for our outer hips. To me, it's extremely important that while students are in these poses, they go and start to explore and experiment with their optimum pose. It's like becoming your body's best friend by feeling into it, deep listening and being. This pose here is called the caterpillar. Here we are targeting the ligaments along the spine. Some people might feel it in the lower 
back area or they will also feel it in the back of their legs. You can see that he has got his back very rounded, which is very important because we want to keep the muscles in the area where we are stretching unengaged. That is with all these yin poses because if we keep our muscles engaged, it's very difficult for us to get down to this deeper layer of fascia. But you know, like with every exercise, with every form of yoga, one needs to experience it in order to understand and feel what the practice can provide. And I hope to make many people curious about yin yoga because it's truly a practice that I believe the world needs today.